All right, hello, my name is Zach, and I'm a software engineer, and I'm going to demo this React uh, component toolkit that I built from the AI productivity program at Bloom Tech. I'm a Node JavaScript developer, and uh, so that's the environment I work in, and we're going to give a quick demo of the agents that I've built to create uh, React components. And there will be a couple of things we have to adjust. Uh, in our shop, we use JSX, we use Vite instead of Create React App, although this time I use Create React App. We also use Tailwind um, and a few other specialties. So I'll have to make a couple of little quick changes. Now, I have already created a prompt uh, mostly so you just didn't have to watch me type this whole thing. Uh, but really, it's not very long. And I'm going to go ahead and post it here or paste it. So the prompt is create a React form that uses use state hook and, and use pure CSS. The form will have inputs for first name, last name, phone, and email. And we'll store the info in state. And after hitting enter, it will render that input in a card above the form. You will use high contrast colors that are good for accessibility. All the best coding practices for React 18. Use the name data form for the directory and include a readme and unit test. All right, let's let it go. All right, we're going to see what it's doing here. All right, and let's go ahead and go over to, so we'll see this. Uh, so here's our Langsmith, and it's going to go ahead and start. Notice it started the logging of Langsmith there, and we can come here and start to watch it. So here is our input. Notice this is what it's uh, turned the output. And wow, it's going crazy. Uh, it's very friendly. Certainly below is a React component named, etc., etc. You can tell by looking at it that it's JSX. If we look at Langsmith, um, once it loads there, so it created the directory, created the React component. That's where it's currently at right now. If we get down here, invoking create test with details. So now it's at the details stage for creating the unit test. And let's see here. So we have a data form there that has been created, the directory. And so now we just kind of have to let it do still. So there's the create component, create a task. Uh, let's see here. So here's the details with the runnable sequence. Really pretty interesting, all the stuff that it does, especially when you consider how small overall the code structure is. Here it is right here. We'll look at it briefly. Um, so it's about 225 lines of code properly spaced. And uh, so it's not a tremendous amount of code to make this thing work. All right. And it's still over here thinking. So we're going to let it continue. If we go back to Lane Smith, we'll see that it's still going. Um, it's been taking about... 117 to 140 seconds. Um, so it's not too bad. All of the test and the last uh, about 12 components cost about 12 cents. So not bad on time. All right. It looks like it's done. Notice it here is the files and that it created, the JSX the README and the test JSX. And if we go up here and look at them, let's just take a quick look to see a, that it matches what we think it should be. All right, use, there's data form using use state, handle submit, some documentation. So it's created these data cards. All right, that looks good. If we go to the README, usually it'll create some kind of CSS notification as well. So here's the styling. Okay, so the styling looks uh, margin top, margin bottom, label. So 
it's doing the labels. Um, so that's pretty nice. And then of course, here's the unit test using the uh, testing library, React testing library. Pretty in depth there as well. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to open, as soon as I find it, here it is. All right. So here's my React app. It's running. Uh, here's what it looks like. This is just a school React app here. And all I'm going to do is copy. I'm going to come into components. I guess I'll have to control V, paste it. All right, we have data form. And now let's go ahead and See, we don't need that one anymore. We'll just move this right over here in its place so we can kind of see it. And let's go ahead, data form, and let's import that from, oops, looks like slash data form slash. Okay. Oh, that's one thing we need to do real fast. We do have to change this to J. So let's uh, come over here and rename this. The Webpack is not set up to handle the JSX. Okay. All right. And so imported. Let's take a look at it. Compiled with problems. Cannot resolve data form CSS. So let's go ahead and look at it. We don't need that one. All right. Data form CSS. So we do not have a data form. Let's just go ahead. Let's see. What do we have? Um, we don't have any. All right. So let's just go ahead and, yeah, I guess we'll just go ahead and call that. We'll say data form.css. And there it is. All right. So the form showed up instantly. Let's go over here and just grab in the readme. Let's just grab the CSS because uh, obviously how it looks matters a bit. Okay, let's save that. And uh, all right, CSS. Hmm. Okay. All right, pretty nice looking form. All right, great. So what was our rules that we wanted to run? Let's go ahead and tape, type a name. Um, phone. And email. I'll just blur that out. Okay, so. And booyah, look at that. Pretty nice for two minutes worth of work and uh, getting it started. Now what I'm curious on is, yeah, that looks great. So anyway, hope you enjoy it. And uh, I look forward to uh, building more with it and seeing what I can do. Have a great day.